In the 1930s, an uneducated Polish nun by the name of Sister Faustina started to receive mystical visions of Jesus. In 1935, she saw a vision of an angel sent by God to punish a certain place for its disobedience. Moved by this vision, she prayed, begging God to spare the people asking for mercy, but nothing she said seemed to have any effect. As she was praying, Faustina became greatly aware of the Holy Trinity and the presence of Jesus. Then she was snatched up and brought before the throne of God. There, inspired by the Holy Spirit, she began to say this prayer. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us. With these words, she saw the angel of wrath become absolutely helpless, completely unable to carry out this certain chastisement on the city. The next day, Sister Faustina entered the chapel where she usually prayed. Jesus then instructed her to say the chaplet this way. Begin it with one Our Father, one Hail Mary, and then the I Believe. Then using a rosary, say on the Our Father beads, Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. Then on each Hail Mary beads, say, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Later, Jesus revealed to Sister Faustina that this chaplet was for the entire world and that there are great promises of grace available to all those who say this prayer with love for God. So, where does the chaplet come from? It comes from Jesus through the mystical experiences of Saint Faustina. Hey guys, did you like this episode of Catholic Minute? If you did, I invite you to do three things. Number one, subscribe to Catholic Minute for free by going to my website, catholicspeaker.com. You'll also gain access to free stuff and other great offers. All of this dedicated to helping you become who God has created you to be. Number two, like and share this video. Number three, consider bringing me to speak at your next parish, mission, or faith event. I'd love to serve you. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you next time on Catholic Minute.